Good morning, everybody. J.R. Fisher here. Bright, sunny Friday morning. Um, possibly, possibly, the end of the week for some people. Possibly not for other people. So I wanted to talk today about getting things accomplished and and man, that's important, right? I mean, golly, all of us have so many things that we want to do, so many uh, ideas that we want to implement, and we get excited about these things, and we want to do them. I mean, golly, we, we came up with them. Of course, they're exciting, right? But the problem is we don't get a lot of it done. Why don't we get a lot of it done? Well, I think it's because we overthink things. And I'd like to talk to you about that this morning. And I'm guilty of this too. I mean, we say, well, you know, hey, we want to we wanna have this course and I've got this talent in this particular area and uh, man, oh man, people are going to love this and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so what platform do I put my course on and, you know, do I shoot my videos outside or inside and do I do an on-screen type video and do I, do I have any software with it? And how do you do software anyhow? And, you know, how am I going to find these people? And we start to overthink it to the nth degree. I mean, we, we, we way overdo it. And the truth is, no matter what you do, it's not going to be perfect. Because nothing is. Nothing's perfect. And if we make some mistakes, it's okay. And you got to kind of give yourself that leeway to make these mistakes because we're all going to make mistakes. But the point is, if we try to avoid making these mistakes by making everything perfect all the time, we ultimately don't get anything done because we overthink it. We say, well, you know, I want to send out an email to my list and uh, I wonder which part of my list I should send it out to. I, I wonder if I should send it on Mondays, you know, after the weekend, or maybe I should send it at the end of the week, or maybe I should send it in the afternoon. Hey, mornings would be great because it's when they're first getting their emails, and we never end up sending the email. You know, it's better to do something and do it not so great than to never do something at all. And that's the big point of today. And by the way, to do any of this, you got to have a product. So if you don't have a product, you want a physical product, and you want one that's going to sell, and you want one that, that you sure is going to sell without any risk, grab my book. I put it in the comments there. It's jrfisherbook.com. You can grab that book, and it'll get you started. Getting started is so, so very important. Overthinking things will kill your business. You know, I, I hear it over and over again, and I talk to a lot of people, and I coach people, and the number one problem they have is that they don't just get started. They don't just do something, and they don't do it because they want it to be so perfect. And gosh, guys, it's just not perfect, you know. And and sure, there's some people out there that are really good at what they do. I mean, this video right here is not perfect, right? I'm just sitting in my car, uh, just grabbed some gas over here at Costco, and I decided, you know, this is something that may help you out today. It may get you motivated. So it's it's really better. And I know in the beginning. Um, when I started, um, I started selling the wrong products. I started selling cell phone cases, and I didn't make any money on them. I was making like 20, 30 cents a case, and you know, I was working late at night, and then I had leftover inventory, so I probably didn't make anything really when it comes right down to it. But the thing is, it got me started. And I didn't know at the time what it was doing. I didn't know that it was teaching me how to sell stuff online. I didn't know that it taught me different softwares and different programs and different ways. I didn't know. All I knew was I wanted to get started. And uh, it's Friday. It's Friday morning. And what better time to get started? And if you're watching this afterwards and it's a Monday, what better time to get started? And if you're watching it later and it's a Wednesday or it's a Saturday or Sunday, you see, there's no better time to get started than right frigging now. Now's the time to do it because waiting is not going to get you anywhere. And, you know, trying to make it perfect will never happen. It's just not going to happen. Um, do what I did. Start off and fail. That's, that's the greatest thing I could tell you. Start off and fail because now it's brought me a lot of success. 
It's brought me a lot of customers in, in, in several different niches. I have my survival cave food business and we sell to preppers and survivalists. And you know, I have courses that I teach people how to make money online and I have coaching and I have coaching clients. And all these things came about because I just got started. And I just got started because I had a big motivation. And like my boss, I don't want to work for him anymore. I didn't like that guy. I didn't want to work for him. And that's a great motivation. And, and they say that disgust can be one of the greatest motivators of your life. So anyhow, my point today is number one, get started. Doesn't matter. Get going. Do something right now. Today, never a better time than right now. There'll never be a better time than right now. Um, waiting for three months when you know you have more money or when things are more in place. No, just start right now. And you say, well, I don't want the money to start right now. Well, shoot a video like what I'm doing right now and find out what your audience wants and talk to them about your products or your ideas or whatever. Build a following because if you have that following, you know, if, if you if you were just doing videos about random things and you got a following, once you got a product, you at least have somebody to offer it to. So my suggestion to you today is get started. Get something going. Don't worry about perfection. If you need a product, once again, I'll remind you in that comment section there, um, there's a link and you can grab my book and it teaches you how to find a product online. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's jrfisherbook.com. How'd I come up with that name, right? A book and my name's J.R. Fisher. My goodness, how'd I do that? That's pretty slick. jrfisherbook.com. Grab the book. It'll teach you how to find a profitable product if you don't know how to do that. And understand that this getting started process kind of snowballs. The more you get started, the more you start doing this stuff, okay, the better off you're going to be. Um, and also, if you have questions, put them in that comment section. I, I see some people typing some stuff that I can't type because I'm in my car. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching. And I do, I do answer those comments after the fact too. So if you're watching this video and it's no longer live or I've ended it or whatever, still put those comments in there. Ask me those questions and I'm going to answer them. I'm going to give you an answer. Okay. Uh, may not be the answer you want, but it will be an answer. <laughs> so I'll try to do that for you. And do me a favor also, if you got something out of this video, like it and share it. Share it with your friends. They'll think you're cool because you shared a really cool video, right? At least I think it's cool because I did it. But you know what? I know something else I know. I know this about the video. It's not perfect. It's just not. It could be better, but I did it. Okay, I did it. I did another video. Yay me. Did another video. Hey, go grab my book, jrfisherbook.com. Put your comments in there. Please share this video.